Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 255. Resistance, Pressure, and Flow. What is the equation for the change in pressure? The equation of change in pressure is delta P equals Q times R. Q stands for the flow and R stands for the resistance. What is the change in pressure similar to? Change in pressure is similar to the Ohm's law, which is delta V equals IR. V stands for volt, I stands for intensity, and R stands for resistance. What is the equation of resistance? Resistance is driving pressure, which is the delta P, over the flow, which is Q. And that in turn equals 8N viscosity by the length over pi R4. How does the flow of liquid travel due to pressure gradient? The pressure gradient drives flow from high pressure to low pressure. Based on the equation of resistance, what is resistance directly proportional to? Resistance is directly proportional to viscosity and the vessel length. What is resistance inversely proportional to? Resistance is inversely proportional to the radius to the fourth power. How do you calculate total resistance of vessels put in series? Total resistance of vessel in series can be calculated with R1, the resistance of vessel 1, plus the resistance of vessel 2, plus the resistance of vessel 3, and so on. How do you calculate total resistance of vessel in parallel? The way you calculate this is to take 1 divided by resistance in vessel 1, plus 1 divided by resistance in vessel 2, plus 1 divided by resistance of vessel 3, and so on. What does viscosity depend mostly on? Viscosity depends mostly on the hematocrit. What are some of the conditions that can increase the viscosity of the blood? Some of the conditions that can increase the viscosity includes polycythemia, hyperproteinemic states like in multiple myeloma, and in hereditary spherocytosis. In what condition does the viscosity of the blood decrease? The viscosity of the blood decreases in anemia. What accounts for most of the total peripheral resistance in the body? Arterioles account for most of the total peripheral resistance because they regulate the capillary flow. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.